Welcome back to the Gnome Show, everyone. I'm Josh, your humble host, and it is my duty, nay, my pleasure, to trawl the briny depths of YouTube so that I may bring you the shinies. I cover short films of varying genres, video games, analog horror, and sci-fi. Really, anything else that I think is groovy. I hope you'll enjoy tonight's offerings. Content for the blood god on the show. Tonight, we have a new one. This is a Vermis Malum. And I know it's new because I have not dis uh, subscribed to them yet. So let's go ahead and do that. And... Let's start like we're on a playlist so this one this one's uh about six minutes so let's uh let's go and i think this might be kicking in because my stomach's uh, a little bit uh, a little bit upset okay <laughs> things are going all right. I got a chance to watch your last video on the train home yesterday. It was really beautiful. You don't need me to tell you that. You're, you're the one who's actually there. But still. It's hard to tell sometimes what parts are real and what parts are that fancy film camera doing tricks with the lighting and stuff. Maybe it doesn't matter, I guess, as long as it's convincing. Um, anyway. I know it's kind of soon to be sending you another one, but you said you wanted to see the first time it snowed here. And they were saying it was still a week out on the radio, but when I looked out the window this morning, well, I went out to Raven's Run so I could get some footage of the trail. By the time I got there, it was actually already starting to melt. It's still pretty early in the winter. It was nice though. I didn't think it would be cold enough to have to wear gloves, but halfway through, my hands were so cold, I had to keep putting them in my pockets between shots. Good thing you weren't there to make fun of me. It felt weird, um, walking the trail alone. But like I said, it was nice. Good to get outdoors again. I've been inside a lot lately. Also, uh, there's something else. I was going to save this for next time, but I wanted to show you this thing I found. It's a little weird, so naturally I figured you might like it. You know how I was telling you about that noise I've been hearing above my room the past couple nights? Well, I got kind of scared it was a leaky pipe or something like that, and one of these mornings I'd wake up with sludge dripping from the ceiling. Like that movie we saw. Dark Water, or whatever it was called. I finally worked up the courage to actually go up to the attic and check it out. Don't laugh, okay? I really don't like confined spaces. You're a lot better with that kind of stuff anyway, but... Well... You're not here, so... I looked around a bit. No leaks, but... I did find this. It's a package. Oh, I know it's not yours, right? 
Did you know it was up there? I mean, you don't go up there much either, I guess. Maybe you didn't, but let me know. What's weird to me is that it was like tucked under the insulation, which means someone put it under there. Oh, yeah. It didn't just slip under by itself. No. I wasn't sure whether I should wait to check it out, but then I just thought, what would I be waiting for? So I opened it. It's a laptop. Charger, too. Someone who used to live in this house must have left it here. Yeah. I I don't know why they or put they it in the attic. You, or whoever moved in. I wanted to see if it still worked, so I plugged it in and let it sit for an hour. Latitude, that is an old one. It says locked when it loads up, but when I clicked on the account, it let me in without a password, so I don't know what that's about. But it does work. <laughs> that's a trap. Also, when I loaded it the first time, the CD drive opened. There's this disc inside. Vermis Malum. So that's all. Pretty cool, right? What do you think I should do with it? I'm going to leave it to charge some more for now. Uh, I have to take care of some stuff for work after I finish editing this, and it's already getting pretty late. But let me know what you think. Anyway, good luck with everything. I hope you're having a good time wherever you are when you watch this. Uh, send me something back when you get a chance. I mean, take your time, just whenever you get a chance. Mafia really misses you, and Aww, what did I, I miss you too. It feels really empty around here sometimes. Not just the trail, I mean, this house. This place is too big for one person, you know? It just goes on and on. It's okay, though. I mean, making these for each other helps. Okay. Talk to you soon, all right? Bye. Hey again. Pretty quiet today. It's Saturday, so I got to sleep in. Perks of being at home, right? Thought it might be a good day to make one of these. I had this dream last night. I was standing on the beach, I think, or maybe on a sandbar somewhere near the ocean. The sky was full of clouds, like it was going to start raining any minute. And these big, dark waves kept rolling in and breaking in front of me. The ocean was just pitch black, too, and it went on and on. And then I started to hear this, like, whistling sound from way out in the water. like. I don't know, like someone was whistling a song, you know? It was so quiet, but, but I tried to concentrate. I tried to listen hard and could almost make out the tune. And then I woke up. Not a lot going on today. I mostly stayed inside. Um, I had time to check it out some more. That laptop from the attic. I think I know what I'm going to do with it now, but I also found some stuff on it, and I was thinking maybe you'd want to see. Well, okay, maybe I just wanted to show someone. <laughs> no, but it's interesting. It's like these, well, you'll see. It's easier than me explaining it. The first thing I did was install a screen recorder, so I don't have to age myself 40 years by recording the screen with my camera anymore. The laptop couldn't connect to the internet from Wi-Fi at first, but I ran the troubleshooter or whatever, and it fixed it, thankfully. I was worried I might have to go digging through the garage for an Ethernet cable. Remember those? Mm. So it's not empty, but I can't find a lot on it either. I mean, there are a couple games. Wow. Someone was playing chess. But the desktop is empty, nothing in downloads, pictures, videos, beyond the stuff that's there out of the box, like the sample pictures, you know. There is stuff in documents, I'll show that in a second, but, but in general there's not much in most of the places you'd think to look. Maybe I'm missing something though. What's weird is the hard drive space is close to full, so apparently there's something really big on this computer, but... I'm not sure where or what. 
that yellow disc that was in the drive is empty, by the way. If there was anything on it before, it's gone now. That all being said, I tried it for a bit just that to see. Crazy. Casual stuff, YouTube, you know. It runs better than my actual laptop. That's not saying much, but it doesn't do that uh, thing where the screen turns yeah, black for a second something. when you close a tab. I'm actually thinking about moving my editing setup and my games and stuff to it. I feel like it might be good with games. Well, we'll see. I told you I did find a couple files. Check this out. This folder is called Unsorted. I already skimmed a couple of these, but read this. Or is it clear enough on the video to read? Actually, I think this has text to speech. Yeah. Notes. Sourced from the original thread on MF. Text not parsable. Still not clear on the origin or significance of the photo, if it's even real. To be fair, the same could be said of most of what I've found so far. Internet rabbit holes can drive you crazy in a way, churning dead threads and defunct blogs, squinting sideways for an anagram here, a repeated number there, maybe a blurry symbol that lights up a fat knot of neurons somewhere deep in your memory, looking so hard for something you can only intermittently convince yourself is even real. Well, now I know. Notes. These things happen slowly at first and then all at once. I collected the breadcrumbs, but Damon gets credit for actually finding the witch's kitchen. He was cagey about exactly where he fished the disc up from, but fair's fair. I wasn't exactly forthcoming about the story behind what I was asking him to look for either. What could I have said, though? It's a computer game no one's ever heard of. Allegedly made by a developer there's no evidence actually ever existed. Come on. People already think I'm enough of a crank. Got lucky. Department approved a loan for a fresh machine yesterday. Only a laptop, but it'll do. Told liaison it was a research wreck. Not technically a lie. She never asked which research. <laughs> Notes. Item 9. Taken 3.31 AM 3807 by LCPD. Retrieved via FOIA. Would have liked to visit the house on Penny Lane myself, but it was demolished and replaced by a condominium some years after the Bells sold it. Oh, Note. Expected a dot .exe or similar. No such luck. 90-ish small files, extensions like dot .cpp, dot .lua, dot .java. Source code, obviously, but not like any I've ever seen. Linguistic landscape is tortured as the last days at the Tower of Babel, counted 21 unique programming languages from various domains. Everything from the latest startup darlings to moth-eaten relics so old as to be illegible to anyone under 55. Code itself is bizarre and ill-written too. See above for a particularly abominable example. Techniques used are subtly clever in places and offensively clumsy in others. Slick as sin, pointer arithmetic, comingles with nested loops so shameless they would make a first-year comp sci major blush. No apparent concern for interoperability, efficiency, readability. As if someone hacked off mismatched chunks from unrelated code bases sampled at random from the last half century, and then crudely stitched them together. A digital Frankenstein's monster. Much of it doesn't look like it would run at all, let alone contribute to any system as complex as a video game. No other way to say it. Case against this being a hoax looks weaker than it did a few days ago. I'll keep trying, though. Not satisfied with that explanation yet. Slowly realizing I might not ever be. Oh shit, what the fuck is that? No notes. And this one doesn't have anything. So, um, yeah. Did you, hover, did you try to... Weird, right? It's kind of a lot. I don't really know if I have an opinion, but I felt like it was worth sharing. You know, I was actually thinking earlier, do you think they left it here on purpose? Yes. Whoever owned this laptop, I mean. Yes. Like, for someone else to find? Yes. Before, I, I just assumed, like, I mean, why, why would someone leave a computer behind except by accident, right? No. But, I don't know. Um, 
Heath Trap. So I think that's all I have for now. What's up with you? Still in the city or let me know. This would have been a lot easier to show in person, but I, I mean, um, I didn't mean, no, I, it's okay. Th this works too. These are fun to make. Okay. Bye for now. All right. Bye. I prefer this one to the standard. Um, So I've been going back and forth about how to start this video. I like this. Uh, I've been using the laptop a lot since than, Saturday. Uh, the one that's As you can see, I moved some stuff, downloaded some stuff. My games. Well, okay, one game so far. I don't know how some people play more than one game at a time, you know? Uh, um, you need it's different mostly been like pretty you need good. Types of food. But... There are weird things that happen sometimes. Like, uh, for example, a, a couple of days ago, I was writing an email. I was doing the first draft in a notepad, so I didn't accidentally send it, you know. It was for uh, a friend. It, it, it doesn't matter. I, I left to get dinner, and, and when I got back to finish, I felt like some of the words were changed. Small stuff, like... Like the word yesterday would be changed to the day before. Really small stuff. I almost didn't notice. I mean, I know nowadays every single program has some like little helper to fix your grammar and vocabulary and whatever. Remember Clippy? But I don't think Notepad does. I use it all the time and that never happened before. I mean, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. It's just, I don't know. A couple days ago is when I noticed this. I do feel like I've seen it before, somewhere, but I don't think it was here. I already opened it once off camera. It's like a game, a computer game. I can show you what it looks like in a second. I searched the name. I didn't find anything relevant. Warm. It's Latin, apparently. Vermis malum. malum. Am I saying that right? Vermis malum. Close enough. I know I overthink stuff. You know I overthink stuff. But I get this feeling sometimes when I'm using it. And with those docs I showed you before. Like, there's something I'm missing here. Do you ever feel like that? See? Actually, I'm, I'm not going to send this video right away. Give me a couple days. Uh, it's almost Friday, and uh, I don't have to go in on Friday. Did I tell you that? Anyway, yeah, I, I just need a couple days. All right, so let's see. Yeah, this is it. So when I saw the screen the other day, I could tell right away it was supposed to be a game. There's another screen with a menu. I think it actually says continue game. I didn't go further than that. It kind of reminds me of the title screen at this old platformer game I played a while back. The pixelated hands, I mean. Something about that art style. I'm forgetting the name. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah, so one save slot is already here. I didn't make this.
Well, actually, we don't have to delete it. And doesn't have a favorite color. My favorite color is red, if you didn't know. Is this an elevator? I didn't do anything. I want to go to a different floor. Oh. Okay. Yeah. You are where you are. figured that out. This is interesting. What key is that? Space bar? It's not really much of a jump. So this tree is dead, but it's still growing fruit. I mean, I'm not a botanist, but... What does that do? Well, I guess we'll find out. Okay. What if I want to go the other way, though? What's over there? Uh... 
shift lets you run. You could have told me that on one of those signs. I assumed, but never hurts to try. Just the illusion of a bigger world out there, I guess. It's not really there. Telling me to press a key. I'm pressing E. These are those apples I got. Hmm. Can I equip this somehow? It's a weapon, right? Is that what that sword icon next to the name means? Am I going to fight a monster later? Restore my health if I get hurt, like uh, potions, like healing fruit, or Always. 
So, I get the feeling that... Well, let's just do this first. Mountain? It fades out. You you can't go over there anyway. That naive man's your voice is completely low, too. It never ends well for you people. Do you know what happens to your body after you die? Decomposition? <laughs> what was that supposed to be? Who was that? I, I can't interact with it anymore. I guess they hung up. But her name was Beatrice. Well, okay. Let's see. Okay. So, I think I'm going to have to cut out most of the last 15 minutes. I just... I walked around in different directions. Nothing really happened. If you go in the water, it fades to black. If you go too far out, it fades to black. I did pick some more apples along the way. I'm sure we'll find something to use them for. Oh, and I went back in the house to see if the phone would ring again. It didn't, but I did find this one thing. On the shelf here, there's actually something you can interact with but you have to jump to reach it. Yeah. Not really sure what to say about that one. Mm -hmm. So I think it's pretty obvious what I have to do. I need to find a way to get inside that closed door, the windmill, but I don't know. I mean, I couldn't find a key anywhere. Uh, I couldn't really find anything else to do, except that thing in the house that didn't change anything. I know there has to be something, right? Maybe there's a place I need to use the shovel to dig. Um, and I just missed it. I don't know. We'll see. I can look more later, but for now I think I'm going to stop. That was interesting. I don't know what I expected. It's strange, you know? Sometimes you find weird things. Sometimes weird things find you. Mm -hmm. I have to do some stuff. Mm -hmm. Take care. Be safe. Bye. Hello? Hello and what? Alright. So, uh, that was what is available for Vermis Malum. Uh, in, uh, let's, uh, go to... Yeah, he's got three videos. So, um, I just wanted to see what that was all about. I liked the little video game. At the end, it was oddly relaxing and comforting a little bit. Like, I, I wanted to go and explore myself. Um, ooh. But, uh, that was, uh, the Vermis Malum, Malum, uh, universe so far. Uh, let me know what you thought. Uh, down in the comments like subscribe and share uh, be safe be happy be healthy i love you all and i'll see you in the next one guys